Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Bank Account API. As uh, developed in the first and initial episode, um, you can find the link up here, uh, we have implemented a simple REST API containing a controller that allows, it, allows us to manage um, accounts. Account um, is as follows, it has an, uh, an ID, an account number, and a balance. It's very minimal, very simple. And it can be used here by the following request. Initially, there is one bank account available in our bank. So as of today, we would like to expose uh, an open API contract so other people who would like to integrate with our API can do this in a very simple and standard way. So Micronaut of course provides us uh, to do this by simply adding additional dependencies on to our project. We are using a Gradle build uh, to achieve, uh, to be, for building our software. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in some additional dependencies, such as an additional annotation processor. Micronaut does heavily use of annotation processors um, to generate artifacts at compile time. We then need the Swagger annotation API and that's it so far. With this minimal stuff, um, we can jump onto our application class. In there, we what we're going to do is we're going to put simple some Swagger annotation that helps Micronaut to create the Open API spec for us. As you can see, I'm using here this open API definition. I'm giving the API a title, the bank account API, declaring that this is the initial version 1.0, a brief uh, description, a pointer to the license and uh, some contact information. This um, annotation can be put onto any um, class you want it to but usually we it's it can be found on the application class so this is something like an agreement so easier for other developers to find it when we've done that um, we're actually ready to generate um, a wonderful initial version of the spec micronaut generates the stuff in build classes java main meta inf and then you find it in the swagger folder and as you can see here it generates uh, the, 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 the api spec for our bank account controller and uh, since i'm using intellij it i have also the possibility to render stuff here nicely well, yeah, nicely. And uh, as you can see, it allows me uh, to inspect possible um, responses. I can see what update account requires. I see what create account requires. This is pretty neat. So with, without any effort, you um, created an initial API spec for your API. If uh, you want to expose this API or you're not happy with the file name here, you can adjust it uh, by configuration. Let's jump onto the configuration for a moment. Um, application properties. In here, you can do things such as renaming the api file um, this can be done 
using the following key. It's micronode open API file name. If you want to change it to bank API, you can simply do it like this. And you see it's now called bank API YAML. And if you want to expose it so others can uh, at front time uh, request it from the server, you can use uh, the following thing. We simply change the configuration and telling the Micronaut router that it finds it, it, it exposes um, resources under meta inf swagger. That's that folder here, over here, and expose it in the web server on the path open IPA. So whenever someone calls open API slash something, Start the server for a moment and do a request on Open API. API Bank API 1.0 YAML. Bam, here we go. Then the contract is exposed and clients can use it. So that's the first part. Um, in the next episode, I'll show you how you can use an open API um, contract to generate Java, uh, Micronaut Java clients, HTTP clients, or even server control code. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.